The architecture is Austrian. The outfits are Austrian. Even the flag is Austrian. But this is Italy. More specifically, the town of Caldaro in the northern Italian province of South Tyrol. 70% of people here speak German, and many say they don't feel Italian at all. I'm not Italian. No, no. We've been under Italy for 100 years, but we still haven't changed. South Tyrol used to be a part of Austria, but it was ceded to Italy in 1919 after Austria and its allies were defeated in World War I. The region was given the Italian name of Alto Adige and the residents were stripped of their Austrian citizenship. Now the new Austrian government wants to give Austrian passports to people in South Tyrol who speak German or Latin, the other minority language in the province. The offer is being welcomed by the South Tyrolean Freedom Party, who have long maintained the region was annexed against the will of the people. South Tyrol was not won over by a war, but was given to Italy as a spoil of war. South Tyrol has no similarities with Italy. It has its own language, its own culture, its own traditions. This victory arch was designed by Mussolini and it's seen as a sign of oppression for the many South Tyroleans who identify as Austrian. They say it glorifies the Italian conquest of this region in World War I and that it was designed specifically to reinforce that this is Italian territory. But not everyone in the region agrees, nor do they all support the Austrian citizenship plan. I feel Italian. Austria has nothing to do with South Tyrol. South Tyrol is Italian. We are in Italy. And the local MP admits it's possible the passport plan could be a backdoor strategy for Austria to impose more influence on the region. The big worry is about people not asking just for a passport, but also for secession. And this is where the Italian government has to be hard and stand firm against the dual citizenship plan. To go ahead, the passport proposal will need sign-off from Italy, which is unlikely. So for now, South Tyrol remains firmly Italian. In the meantime, the plan has the potential to drive a wedge between Vienna and Rome and also test the loyalties of citizens in the province. Sarah Morris, TRT World, Bolzano, Italy.